Well, in one corner, one of the most popular sites on the Internet. On the other, one of the most powerful men in the Senate. Connecticut Independent Democrat Joe Lieberman. He is asking Google to take down dozens of videos that have been posted on YouTube. Videos like this one. I have seen them myself and they are disgusting. Business. The group Democracy in Action says the newfound safety bills were sponsored by agribusiness giants Monsanto, Cargill, Tysons, and ADM. Under the bills, the Department of Agriculture would be able to order organic farmers what to feed their animals, how to medically treat them, and what toxic sprays to use. There would also be penalties beyond the ability of most small farmers to pay. Buried in the bills are regulations that criminalize all aspects of organic farming by listing them as sources of seed contamination. The bills would industrialize farms, force farmers to buy chemicals and drugs, and or face $500,000 in penalties. To you, Megan. Uh, I just want want to want to let our viewers know that we have a couple of these videos. We have edited them to not show uh, the most violent parts. Why won't they remove all of these, Senator? Uh, I don't know. I, I think that uh, <clears throat> they haven't given me a good answer. We found that the number one growing place that, and, and means by which people in America be can become radicalized is the internet, and and these terrible tapes which are. And, and manuals about how to carry out uh, terrorist acts. And so that's why I turned to YouTube and said, hey, you've got a responsibility according to your own community guidelines. Get this stuff uh, off of there. They right. took down 80, but they left up a bunch of others. And honestly, I can't understand.
And they might argue that that's free speech too, although frankly, I would say that the entire purpose of all these websites is to incite violent acts against the United States. Yes. You know, we got a, a, a first responsibility to protect ourselves. It, it, no society um, wants to provide so much freedom that it amounts to a, a kind of suicide pact. Right. And, and that's why I'm going to continue the pressure on Google and YouTube and uh, if necessary, see if we can come up with a law. Not trying to be dramatic about it, when, when the when the internet was invented, everybody fell flat in their face. They were so thrilled, and the world began to do business in a different way. Now, both the that ads every day saying that the uh, De Department of Defense is is um, attacked three million times a day, and it's true. Um, Everybody is attacked. Anybody can do it. People say, well, it's China and Russia, but there could be you know, some kid in Latvia uh, doing the same thing. I mean, it's an individual act. It doesn't require a sleeper cell. It doesn't require any, uh, you know, ammonia or explosives. It's just an act. And um, yet it's an act which can shut this country down shut down its electricity system, its banking system, shut down really anything that we have to offer. It is Larry, if you slap a Ron Paul bumper sticker on your car, does that mean you might be a domestic terrorist? Take a look at this report. It's called the Modern Militia Movement. It was compiled for authority, but was linked. Is that a political statement, or could that sign help identify militia members, domestic terrorists? Well, listen, listen. We are we are extremely determined to uncover any proxy agents of Hamas and Hezbollah. And we've been successful right now in regards to Mr. Galloway. You don't have to and uncover me. I'm, a, I'm an these open organizations. Book. We will be looking into these organizations in Canada that have invited him. Uh, their links to terror groups as well. Oh, that's, the mandate that's a very serious threat. I was actually to speak in the uh, one of the major churches in Toronto. So there's just a warning there that they're going to be looked into. This is the kind of government for the moment that Canada has. The good news is the elections coming up we soon, make, and they're going to be sure swept away, the, uh, just like the Bush government. We want to make that sure that the, the, hate that the uh, Hamas organization teaches will not reach children in Canada, and we're going to do our utmost to see to it that uh, proxies of Radical Iran are kept away from Canada. Okay, well, are you going to go? Are you going to try to get in there? Canada? I'll be there on the border, and if I can't cross the border, then I'll address those who want to hear me in Canada by other means. There are plenty of other means. We're not at the mercy of uh, uh, of your and friend in, uh, in and Toronto. Therefore, if he uses those so, other means, so if he uses those other means, we will see to it that the Canadian government will be monitoring every individual and organization that will have anything to do with it. Again, no funding well, from Canada. Okay, so these, these, of the loud these, 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 keen, these are very venal and brute threats which are being made by your guest against Christian groups and other peace groups in Canada. And that tells you all you need to know really about them. My views on Afghanistan are that I want to save Canadian and British and American and other NATO troops from needless and pointless deaths. I want to bring them home. Whether you agree with me on that or not, surely I have the right to speak about it. And a debate is what's required. And you can't get debate by excluding people. Is, on that note, it's not a freedom of speech issue. I'm, I'm afraid we. Issue. I'm afraid on that we have to leave it there, Mr. Mr.